Boys and girls, Teacher Tony, good to be with you again. We are continuing our journey in Luke. We're going to be in Luke chapter 6, verses 37 through 49 today. If you missed some of Luke and you need to, you want to go back and listen to some readings, um, feel free to do so. Otherwise, just pick up uh, today and, and moving forward as we continue to navigate the Gospel of Luke. So today we are going to be reading about um, judging others a tree and some fruit and the wise and foolish builders. Um, so it's kind of some, some subheadings there that are some are easy to follow along. So grab a, grab a notebook and here we go. We're starting in Luke chapter six, verse 37 it says judging others. Let's see what Jesus has to say. He says, do not judge and you will not be judged. Do not condemn and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, will be poured into your lap. For with the measurement you use, it will be measured to you. He also told them this parable. Can the blind lead the blind? Will, not, will they not both fall into a pit? The student is not above the teacher, but everyone who is fully trained will be like their teacher. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when you yourself fail to see the plank in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the plank out of your eye and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Continuing in verse 43, it says a tree and its fruit. It says no good tree bears bad fruit, nor does a bad tree bear good fruit. Each tree is recognized by its own fruit. People do not pick figs from thorn bushes or grapes from briars. A good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart. And an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. Some powerful word, words there from Jesus. Continuing uh, in verse 46, it says, The wise and foolish builders. Why do you call me Lord, Lord? And do not do what I say. As for everyone who comes to me and hears my words and puts them into practice, I will show you what they are like. They are like a man building a house who dug down deep and laid the foundation on rock. When a flood came, the, tor the torrent struck that house but could not shake it because it was well built. But the one who hears my words and does not put them into practice is like a man who built a house on the ground without a foundation. The moment the torrent struck that house, it collapsed and its destruction was complete. Everything that we read right there was all in red, which means that was coming straight from Jesus. Uh, pretty awesome stuff uh, about judging and about bearing good fruit and about you know building, um, building a foundation on Jesus. So, uh, two things I circled there were hear Jesus' words and put them into practice. So I'll leave you with that. It's been great, a great week reading with you guys. I hope you continue the journey through Luke and um, hope all is well. Take care. Bye-bye.